Hello everyone, today we're gonna talk about Helios 44 Mark II. I'm gonna show you photo and video examples. Let's go! Actually, this lens hasn't got out of focus and I must focus manual. Uh, now you can see how it works. And yes, uh, this is the image from this lens. Helios is 58mm f2.0 lens and now I shoot this video with maximum open aperture. Today I'm gonna show you how I work with my Fujifilm X-T20 with this lens and with uh, Speed Booster EF FX2 from Wheeltrux. This speed booster has a crop factor 0.71 and with Fuji crop factor 1.5 you can get a full frame size crop factor. It's not the true full frame because you still have your crop sensor but you got the full frame size image and uh, with this speed booster you have 1.0065 uh, crop factor and it's kind of full frame but it's not too full frame so yes you have a size of image from full frame on crop sensor the Helios 44 Mark II lens was produced as a standard lens for Zenith brand cameras its production stops in the early 90s, but the lens has found recognition among modern photographers. Helios will be an excellent picture choice for shooting portraits. You will get artistic shots with poor color reproduction, smooth background blur and bokeh effect. The lens features allow you to smooth out minor skin defects and make contrast shadow transitions softer. With soft lightning, you can also achieve airliness in the frame. The lens uses simple chemical illumination and quickly tolerates sight and uh, control light. In the center, the image lens is sharp enough, even at f2.0. With closed apertures, the edges and corners of the image return to normal. Like our lens of the Helios 44 family, the 44 Mark II version twists the background. The legendary twisted bokeh of Helios. Such a lens can be a great find for mature photographers. The focus ring rotates 270 degrees. The ring stroke is smooth. It's quite convenient to focus manually. During focusing, the front lens does not rotate, only a frame of the case lengthens. Helios 44 Mark II has a focusing distance scale uh, in meters only. As for the price, you can buy Helios starting from $100. I found this price on Amazon, but you can find it cheaper. In conclusion, I would like to say that you will not regret if you buy this lens and it doesn't have autofocus, but this is uh, not a problem. You can quickly learn how to use it. Thank you for watching. Please uh, like this video. A lot of effort went into this video despite the fact that it's short. And see you in the next video.